Good morning guys, what's up? I hope you're all having an awesome morning. Now today I thought I'd give you guys all an update in regards to all the three cars that we have working on the channel at the moment. Uh, the XR6, the XR8 behind me, and then the R33 Skyline behind me as well. Let's go over what the plans are and go over what we're going to be doing hopefully within the month. And uh, yeah, go from there. Right, so the Falcon's all fixed after the incident. Everything is all done. Uh, new power steering lines in and it's all short. Quickly show you guys, because actually, I don't even think I showed you guys in the actual video. Power steering line now, oh, you can't even see it, uh, but it routes just behind this hard line here. Doesn't go anywhere near the turbo, so that's a massive big bonus. I've also got fire extinguishers coming for this car and the Skyline as well. Definitely a necessity. I believe Max has also ordered one too, and uh, I highly encourage anyone else to as well. Um, there's no worse feeling than that sort of stuff happening, but, uh, but yeah, you know, you live and you learn, so. But yes, the Falcon's looking great. And it's also going to be running great in a few weeks time. This Sunday coming, we are putting on the new Precision 6235. Well, it's not a new turbo, it's a, it's a used turbo, but if you're new for this car right here, it's going to be so sick. Um, the car that it came off was that green car that we wrecked in a couple of videos previously. Um, it was the 750 horsepower built engine sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to be a wicked turbo for this car. It's sort of like a mix between a 3576 and a 3582. It's kind of in between. Should be around about maybe maybe 400 RPM difference in spool time. But this one will come on much harder. And this thing is going to be a crazy car. It's going to be wicked. We also have in my very messy toolbox a set of uh, valve springs and head studs. Both Atomic are ready to go into. Many thanks to Craig at Long Boost Performance for that. So massive thank you, man. Also have... New steering wheel down there for the Falcon, and I've actually got I got a couple of parts down here actually. I got a plenum for the RB25. I've also got a high mount manifold for the RB25, and we should be getting a turbo soon as soon as Samet gets back to Australia. So also got a TI Automotive uh, 525 fuel pump, which will be going in the Falcon, so that way we can use the 460 out of the Falcon in the Skyline. So that would be awesome. So that's going to help us get to the power level we want with the Skyline. So yes, fuel pump, new steering wheel, valve springs, head studs, turbo, um, and E85. This thing will be ripping, hopefully, around about 600-ish horsepower. I, I only want it for the number. I know I'm going to use 98 most often. Um, I say that now, but I know when it's tuned on, 90, on E85, I'm going to want to use that anyway. Yeah, this car here, going E85 and 98, um, I can change it around with a PCM Tech tune. This car's going to be a beast, and I cannot wait to drive it. Max's car, supercharger build is all done. He is going to go get it tuned next Thursday. So we're going to be going down there, uh, filming the tuning process and stuff like that. It's going to be absolutely wicked. This thing here, he's hoping on just 98, will be around about 540 to 550. He's not going to go E85 just yet, even though the car is ready for it. He just can't afford the... Uh, it is kind of for the dual fuel tune at the moment. So he's going to go back and do that. He's going to learn the power. All he wants to do is learn the power and then he'll get to uh, get to putting E85 in it a little bit later. Now we've got the good old Brecky Roll. So the Brecky Roll within a month will have a brand new ECU. Um, if you guys remember a few months back, we actually did the complete engine RB25 rebuild. I learned so much from that entire process. Um, there is a few little things I want to do. I want to get that splitter down the bottom, but the main thing that I'm waiting for for this car here to take it out to the track is just getting an ECU for it. I've hooked up with Whitey's wiring, and we're going to be ordering in a new Link G4 Plus or G Plus or whatever it's called. Um, their new Link system that's coming in. So, so hopefully it'll be one of the first RB25s with the new Link system that he's worked on. Me and him are going to be doing that whole thing and basically documenting the whole process on not only my channel but his channel too. So yeah, so to be getting a whole new Link ECU and then we're going to be taking it out to the guys at On Song Performance and we're going to be tuning that thing up. So whether that will happen in the same month, I'm not quite sure just yet because this Falcon's going to be pretty expensive. I know that I know that the rough tune around about the price is upwards of a thousand dollars just to get that thing, just to get the Falcon retuned. Plus what I've spent on all the other uh, valve springs and head studs and stuff like that. Plus just some other stuff that's coming up. Oh, plus the exhaust we didn't even talk about. Um, I've ordered the dump and uh, it's going to go through to the stock. Oh, it's going to go through to a midsection which I have in the boot, which is Brandon's old midsection. Um, three and a half inch stainless, I believe. I'm not quite sure. Um, goes out to a twin exit rear. If you guys remember, I do have the quad tip exhaust. So they're nice and polished at the moment too. They look sick. Yeah, so that'll be going on the car, but that's going to cost a lot of money. Um, the tune's going to cost a lot of money, and then I have to get the ECU for this car here. So that's around about my entire last month's uh, YouTube salary. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. 
At the moment, we can still take the R33 around. I don't really want to rip it too hard, but uh, but in the meantime, we can keep cleaning it up. I mean, there is a few little things that I want to obviously put the splitter on the front there. Um, also want to paint up these right here. I want to fix this windscreen too, because there's massive big scratches in it from the windscreen wipe. Now the skyline's looking good. There's not much I really want to do to it now. Oh, and get it mod plated too. I want to get the seat, the steering wheel and stuff mod plated, so. It also needs a horn, <laughs> so I'll fix that too. I'm also going to try and route these up here too, so that way they don't break out so much. And the reason I'm not bolting them in is because I know that one day I'm just going to rip them off, and I do like the look of them. They're hiding a few scratches underneath, and uh, I, I do like the look of the pods. However, I know that if it's bolted in, and I end up destroying a pair of tires, I'm going to end up destroying that thing too. I'm probably going to do it anyway, but at least uh, zip tires will break. All of the small ones that I'm using, the zip tires will break before hopefully that piece there breaks. We're going to paint it the other set of bronze rims. I am super stoked at this colour. Like, they came out so good. So, um, yeah, I'm keen to get the other... I'm keen to get the other set painted bronze too. And then Luke Fink has just got word that uh, his track is going to be opening up as soon as this Saturday. Hopefully we're able to take the, uh, the R33 out there and finally get it around the track. And I'm super keen to get it back out to QR. They've started opening up sort of little events at QR um, now that the coronavirus restrictions have been lifted. So yeah, we're going to be going out to QR very, very soon, hopefully. I feel better about going to QR than I do to Archerfield with the R33 just to learn, um, especially because that car has not had a shakedown yet. And if something goes wrong in Archerfield, I could end up potentially losing the R33. So I prefer to go to... But, you know, that's what I bought it for. So um, yeah, here's to learning, hey? <laughs> And also guys, I thought I'd let you all know that I'm going to be taking a break until Friday night. So Friday night at 6pm, you guys will see the next video. I have been non-stop making videos since I think around the 8th of December and I've only missed one day just before Christmas when I was actually hanging out with family and I just got into it. But I have not missed an upload. I've been a little bit late and like the latest I've been is like 7-ish and they're supposed to come out at 6. Apart from that, I've never been late, never missed an upload. I'm super proud of myself, but I definitely do need a little bit of a break from YouTube. <laughs> I need a weekend and I need to, uh, there's a lot of back-end stuff I gotta do. Whether it's Friday or whether it's not, I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna update you guys sort of out throughout the whole process. But I thought I would add, if you guys do want to catch up with all this stuff, I have all of my socials linked down below. I'm still going to be posting on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also, what's that other one? TikTok and Discord. The Discord channel is now up. It's really, really rough, and I'm super, super sorry it's taken so long. The Discord chat link is down below, and I want everyone to go jump on that. I'm going to be talking about builds, showing off your cars, uh, going to be updating you guys with all the latest videos, plus some of my personal updates as well, so we're all going to be on there. And that way, um, I've started to do a little bit of gaming as well. So I've started to play Warzone like so much now and I love COD Warzone. So, um, so yeah, we're going to be able to uh, have a little bit of a chat and actually hopefully make some squads on there. But um, no, even if you guys aren't gamers or, or anything else like that, definitely go hit up the Discord because there's going to be so much cool stuff happening on there. It's going to be much like Sam's Discord where he has like over a thousand members now. It is mental. But I really want to create an awesome community on there that you guys can come and join in and uh, just have some fun. But yes, yeah, so after everything that's happened over the past week and the past four videos have been just, you know, such a downer. I actually had the day off yesterday and I'm filming this same day and I'm going to go edit and then do all that sort of stuff. I feel a lot better after just the one day. So I definitely need a few more days just to recoup myself, um, think about video ideas, get into it. Because at the moment there's just, there's not much to do. I mean, we, the cars are pretty much both here. And I'm kind of like leading to go get an AU Falcon and then just send it for a month and then... I don't know, do a giveaway with it or something. I don't know, would you guys be interested in a thrash that you give away? <laughs> I don't know what you want to do, but um, yeah. But yeah, I'm just taking a few days off just to go relax. And you know, I was reading some of the comments especially, and um, you guys all seem to notice it as well. Just telling me to take a few days off because I have literally been non-stop working on this for six months now. I need a weekend. I need to go relax for a little bit. And you know, I'm still probably even, you know, like, I was having a chat to Jacob Steele yesterday and he's like, well, just do stuff that you enjoy. And I was like, okay, so like go make videos? And he's like, no, not that. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna sit down, relax, uh, watch a few series on Netflix or something, go watch Narcos, it's actually pretty sick. Um, and just do a lot of the back end stuff because I 
have been tracking literally none of my expenses whatsoever through this entire thing doing YouTube because I've just been so busy making the videos, ordering new parts and working on the cars. Um, but I need a few days off literally just to get onto QuickBooks and try to like track all of the expenses that I've made before tax time. Otherwise, it's going to be a hectic few weeks and especially with the two builds going on, I do not have time to do all that sort of stuff uh, tax wise. So, so I'm going to be palming all that off and hopefully I can just keep working on the cars and just keep spending money on the two cars because that's a lot of fun and uh, keep making some really bad financial decisions. <laughs> But yes guys, thank you so much for sticking around and I really appreciate everyone for uh, hanging out and watching me so far. We're now at 26,000 subscribers, I think even more now, 26.2 or something. It is crazy and I want to thank everyone all so much, all 26,000 of you people. Yet like last month we hit 500,000 video views, half a million video views in one month and that is just, it's pretty crazy when you put that into perspective. But um. It's like one in every 47 people in Australia have watched my videos in a month and that's, that's, that's crazy numbers. So uh, yeah, super happy and yeah, I really appreciate all you guys for making me sort of take this time off and supporting me through the whole process, especially with this car here too and what happened over the last weekend. It's been crazy to see all the support. I'll see you all next Friday. Peace out.